Howdy everyone, it's Sam. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. And if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. The final round of the 2022 NRLW season is upon us and the top four will be official by the end of the round. Uh, there are still a couple of teams left fighting for that final spot. Uh, let's get stuck straight into it. Uh, all from uh, Central Coast Stadium this weekend. All three contests are taking place in Gosford this weekend on the Sunday afternoon. So if you're in and around that area, go out and support the ladies. Um, let's get stuck into the tips. Number one on Sunday afternoon from Central Coast Stadium is the Brisbane Broncos, technically the home team, up against the Parramatta Eels. And the Broncos are $1.42 favourites to the pa Parramatta Eels, $2.92 outsiders. Parramatta Eels don't have any team list changes, but the Brisbane Broncos do. Uh, Emily Bass, Queensland Origin representative, is back into the side in on the wing, shifting out Tungai. Uh, and the Lavinia Gould, hooker for the Brisbane Broncos, is out with an injury, and in comes Jada Ferguson. The Brisbane Broncos were that close uh, to pipping the St. George Illawarra Dragons last week. It was just bad cold kicking, unfortunately, from Taryn Aiken that prevented them from getting the W. It was the first, well, it was also a very significant and historic moment too. Uh, while they did lose, uh, they were involved in the first ever NRLW Golden Point extra time game and uh, it was unfortunately a field goal that sunk uh, the Brisbane Broncos, but they're still sitting inside the top four for now. If they win, they're in. If the Parramatta Eels get their first win of the season in the final round, uh, Brisbane Broncos are going to have a very, uh, very tense afternoon, a couple of hours immediately afterwards. They took the Dragons to the absolute extremes. It's not like they lucked themselves into getting into Golden Point extra time. They were the better side for half, half of the contest. Really impressive stuff. Ali Brigginshaw has really sprung to life over the past two to three weeks. Uh, Brisbane Broncos should beat the Parramatta Eels 13 plus this weekend. Game number two on Sunday afternoon kicks off at five to two in the afternoon. It is the Gold Coast Titans, technically the home side, up against the Sydney Roosters. The Titans find themselves $3.18 outsiders to the Sydney Roosters. $1.36. There are no changes for the Gold Coast Titans. I must have overlooked it as well last week. Avania Palete is the fullback in up here. Nichols uh, is in the centres as well. Um, and the Titans, they got their first win against the Parramatta Eels. And if they win and the Broncos lose, the Gold Coast Titans will play finals footy uh, for the second year in a row. Uh, so they are going to be tense as uh, barracking for the Parramatta Eels to get the victory over the Broncos. But again, in my opinion, I think the Broncos are going to be too good. So the Titans just left a little bit too late, unfortunately. Um, but again, you don't know what's going to happen. Now for the Sydney Roosters, I've got to bust out the laptop because there's a lot of changes. Uh, for example, do you guys remember New South Wales under 19 State of Origin game uh, earlier this season? Jada Taylor in at fullback who ran coast to coast to score one of the tries of the season. She makes her NRLW debut this weekend. She was ultra, ultra impressive and now she's there on the big stage this weekend. Uh, and that means Sam Brebner means that she's going to be rested. There's no injury, thank goodness. Jessica Sergis and Isabel Kelly will be playing. Uh, maybe they could have been rested, but season's only five games long, isn't it? Uh, Sarah Takatugi uh, was out through injury last week. She comes back in. Uh, and there's also a young debutante, another debutante in there as well. I think she takes the place of Jasmine Strange out there on the wing. Um, so there's a bit of changes there. But I just don't think the Titans are going to be good enough to get over the Roosters, even though there are changes in a couple of young guns in that Sydney Roosters outfit. Um, boy, howdy, the Sydney Roosters, they um, look ultra impressive and uh, they, they had a massive scare against the Newcastle Knights. I think that oh, we'll get into the Knights in a little bit, but I think the Knights, gee whiz, they, um, they really put it to the Sydney Roosters. But the class of Isabel Kelly, she... Her 2022 season has been unbelievable. Uh, but Sydney Roosters are going to win this one. I'll, I'll, I'll put a little bit of respect on the Titans. And I'll say uh, 1-12 to on Sunday.
The final game on Sunday afternoon at Central Coast Stadium features the St. George Illawarra Dragons, the home side, taking on the Newcastle Knights. And the Newcastle Knights are $1.80 favourites to the Dragons, $2 outsiders. And this game is kicking off at quarter to four. The St. George Illawarra Dragons are the same lineup by and large. For example, Tara McGrath with West uh, is uh, not starting from the bench, but she is starting uh, in, in this game. Um, but it's pretty much the same uh, side that was selected last week. Just a few uh, interchange uh, players starting uh, and vice versa and the like. Um, and for the Newcastle Knights, Tamika Upton is back after being rested uh, due to HIA protocols. So she's back at full back in. Gee whiz, she played last week. I think the Newcastle Knights beat the Sydney Roosters. Um, she's a, she was a massive loss last week, uh, and she's going to be huge this weekend. Uh, this is the match of the round, just quietly in my opinion as well. It's um, second versus third, and I think one of these two sides are going to face the Sydney Roosters in the grand final. Uh, there's also one other change as well. Uh, I'll just bust out my laptop again. So I believe that there's a young uh, young lady making her debut, Kayla Romniuk in jersey number 16. Uh, she's going to be coming off the bench in that game. And Bobby Law in the centres for the Newcastle Knights will not be playing. Shanice Parker will take her place instead. As I said, the Newcastle Knights gave a really good account of themselves and gave the Sydney Roosters a hell of a fright and really solidified their premiership chances this season. They aren't doing this on a fluke. It's it's fair dink. And meanwhile, the St. George Illawarra Dragons are not the team that they were at the, at, in the first, well, in, in season 2021 at the start of the year. It's still hard to get your freaking lips and head around that. Um, but the Dragons aren't the same team. Uh, they only just beat the St. George Illawarra Dragons Great game though. It was a great game, but uh, it's not their defense. I think it's more so their attack that's that's letting them down. I think, um, but they're just they're not as intense as what they were at the start of the season. But Rachel Pearson, their halfback, made her debut in uh, in 2021 season at the start of the year, and um, she's one of the players of the year. Like she is top ten, if not top five, best players. Um, in the NRLW, uh, for sure, man. She's been outstanding. Uh, I'm going to go for the Newcastle Knights. They are the real deal, in my opinion. And I think it, we're, we're, I think we're going to get a Knights and Roosters grand final, um, in my opinion. So uh, that's it for uh, the NRLW tips this weekend. I'm going to go for the Broncos. I'm going to go for the Roosters. Uh, even though the Titans are going to be really hoping the Eels win and they need to beat the Roosters to get into this uh, top four. And I'm going to tip the Newcastle Knights as well. Um, hope you have a really nice weekend and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Adios.